change on one of the files on GitHub. So who knows? Yeah, they updated something the other day. Yeah. Um, so they're getting they're they're prepping for it. I've said before, I think, you know, I think Richard knew about ETH 2.0. He had a plan probably two months beforehand. Hey, if it's if it's if it works out, we'll use it. If not, we'll we'll continue with BSC. That's what I speculate happened. And then when it came out, he was just like, all right, let's see if it fails or not. Didn't fail. All right, let's go, you know, let's go uh, change over the code. Change over the code is, you know, can of worms, but still. It's uh, it's not like he was surprised that like, oh, actually one day I'm just going to change it to two two So, uh, V three, I think it's coming right before launch. So once you see it, woo, woo. actually, I'll caveat that with they could do V three. Maybe Richard will say, let's say I'm just being conservative here. V three comes out. I, I don't know when, but it comes out, and then let's say it's a month apart from launch. Let's say four to six weeks. I in between say, uh, that, yeah. in between that documentary, in between that documentary, I, I think that would be uh, the best lead up possible. That I'm, would be ideal for sure. I think, you know, I don't think we actually need more than two weeks for testnet to, for us as users. I think mm -hmm. the extra two to four weeks to make it four to six weeks test net would be more for all the for all the projects residing on pulse chain they you know there's a lot of them and god only knows where they're at in their processes to you know at least give them a little bit of time to fix everything that they can or that is still existing right right i think the documentary is um, finished too i think it, i think they're just waiting on richard they're just like they they want to sync with him on timing that's what i think is going on yeah, uh, I don't know much about audio, um, but I imagine they got a pretty damn good team over there. So I think that symphony that was, I think, October 14th or 15th, that should have mm -hmm. been, that, you know, they could have had it wrapped up. Yeah, in two weeks. So well, they premiered say, it like a month or so ago. I was talking to Kinetics and he's like, yeah, there was that premiere at that one theater and he saw it. So I well, mean, of course, was, they can make changes, but. Yeah, but that wasn't the the orchestra. The orchestra it was an orchestra, of, yeah. But that was right. like the documentary basically buttoned up, except you know, I'm sure yeah, yeah, yeah. orchestra and stuff. So in now it, the but. orchestra has been done for two weeks. I think they could splice in all that within two weeks because they're you know, a really good team. Um yeah, so I, I would suspect it was done. I um I saw Kinetics um mention that they're still, you know, shopping, shopping for the best buyer. Um, I yeah. imagine they've got a couple of offers. They may not be the anywhere near the ones that they want, but I imagine there are offers on the table right now. So, yeah, you could be right working yeah. on timing. Hey, are we 95%? Are we 80% done with V3? And, you know, because yeah. timing the bottom doesn't matter anymore, I don't think, at least in terms of hex. Yeah, I, I think I think if anything, Richard was timing the uh, E 2.0 coming out. If there was any plan he was trying to make around launch, it was like, okay, let's see if this shit works or not. And if not, let's flip it. Or if so, let's flip it over. I would say that, that was more likely than him timing the bottom to me all along. 